Active Data Biology has multiple views of datasets, each providing a different set of interactions for the user to visualize patterns and browse their data. The heat map view displays quantitative measurements within a project's dataset, for example, from global proteomics or transcriptomics. Heat maps are a common display of big data, and Active Data Biology allows users to directly interrogate the dataset in real time. The heat map is available from the home screen or in the menu bar. Heat maps display all the data within an experiment. For this demonstration video, we are looking at proteomics data collected from 174 ovarian cancer tumors. A column represents an individual tumor, while a row represents an individual protein. The color value in the heat map is the abundance of a given protein within the specified tumor. Following normal convention, red colors indicate more abundance, and blue colors represent less abundance. In this data set, there are thousands of proteins measured, and therefore the heat map has more rows than can be displayed. The mouse wheel can be used to zoom in on the heat map in order to display finer details. When hovering over either of the axes, you can scroll the wheel to zoom in or out on just that axis. When zoomed into one of the axes, it can be panned by clicking and dragging on it. Also, you can select a specific region by making a box with mouse drag and drop. A double click on heat map will reset the heat map. Both rows and columns are grouped according to the clusters outlined in the input file. Nodes in the grouping represent more similar rows or columns. For example, the rightmost group of columns represents a specific tumor subtype. To investigate what data differentiates one group of columns from the others, click the blue node to review the metadata. You will first see the Table tab, which displays a series of statistical tests performed on the metadata. In this case, a variety of clinical information about the patients and tumors in this subtype. Although initially sorted by the p-value of the test in question, the Table tab can be sorted by clicking any of the three columns. The Table view is also searchable, with the results being filtered in real time. By clicking a graph icon of each row, Users can move to the Graph tab and see the graph of the statistical test. The List tab shows the identifiers of the tumors within the current node. Like the Table tab, the List view is sortable by any column and searchable should you want to view a specific data point. The Graph tab displays a figure of the statistical test. Each graph shows the results of that analysis from within the node versus the results from outside the node. Typing the name of a test after clicking in the Attribute box allows the user to quickly jump to those results. Every results graph can be saved to your computer by clicking the Menu tab and selecting the preferred file type. The Info tab provides a button to export the raw data of the sample group, which tells its provenance. Since all the R codes are also accessible in GitHub, users can easily reproduce the same results on this dataset in their local machine. Data in rows represent the global quantitative measurements in the experiment, here proteomics data of ovarian tumors. Each row represents a specific protein, and rows were grouped according to similar expression across the cohort. Clicking one of these groups opens a dialog that shows the list of enriched pathways. This window is both sortable and searchable. Additionally, you can pin any pathway to the canvas with the Pin button. Clicking the name of a pathway will take you to that pathway's page. Switching to the Molecular List tab displays a list of the proteins within the node. This tab is both sortable and searchable, and allows the pinning of proteins to the canvas. At any point, the entire node can be pinned to the canvas using the uppermost pin button. When pinning, you will be given the option to specify a name for the node when it appears on the canvas. Here, Adhesion Enriched Cluster. In the same manner of a sample group pop-up, the Info tab allows users to download the corresponding raw data to this protein group. The heat map is a great way to visualize your entire dataset and find patterns to explore further. Together with the rest of the Active Data Biology application, it will enable you to interact with and explore your data in new ways.